I have a lot of spare time this weekend, so I thought, let's just do a Cloud Code project together. So, uh, I want to do an AI video editor today, and this is just going to be uh, a semi-autonomous video editor, but the mostly the video is going to be about how you can use Cloud Code to actually generate the projects, the ideas you have, and you can just follow my workflow. So, just to get started, these are the things we need today. We know we need this before we start, and we have some maybes, we want to add some features. So what we need is something called FFmpeg. Uh, we need a whisper model, local. This is to transcribe from uh, audio to text. And we want some kind of API. I'm gonna pick the Gemini 3 Flash API. It's fast, it's pretty good, and it can do function calling. So if we want to do some additional features, we might need Nano Banana Pro and maybe some video um, models. We'll see. Uh, but if we're gonna start with this, maybe do some features. So yeah, like I said, it's basically just gonna be a Cloud Code video. Uh, you can follow my uh, yeah workflow, and you should see some success using Cloud Code. So yeah, let's just get started. Uh, this is gonna be from zero till end. So yeah, enjoy. Just gonna for the video sake, I'm gonna use the terminal here on my Mac uh, because uh, you can use this in your IDE too. But just for the video sake, I think it looks a bit better. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is make a directory. I'm just gonna call it AI Video Editor or something like that. And let's just go into Claude, right? And I'm gonna open up this directory in my cursor IDE too. So remember I said we need some Gemini 3 models here or the API. So I'm gonna head over to the documentation page on Gemini API slash docs. And I'm gonna grab the Gemini 3 documentation here and they can do this as markdown. So I'm just gonna copy this because this is some context we need. And I'm just gonna go to cursor. I'm gonna create a folder called docs. And I'm just gonna create a file called Gemini3.md, paste it in. And we know we need function calling, so I'm just gonna also call a function call.md. And if you go back here, you can scroll down, there's something called function calling. Because we need the model to be able to do some actions on our behalf, uh, video editing, right? So let's just paste that in here. Not like that, but like this. Okay, so now we kind of have the starting documentation we need from Gemini. We have the, this model and we have the function call documentation. So let's just go ahead back to Claude and let's start uh, doing some instructions here, I think. Uh, I'm gonna think if we need anything else now. I don't think there's anything else we need now. So, uh, FFmpeg, if you don't have that installed, just go to ffmpeg.org and download this. You can do Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. And the GitHub repo for Whisper is just github.com openai slash whisper. And this is a model we can use. You can run it locally to transcribe from audio to text because we need that, uh, as you will see soon. Uh, I think we need one more thing, so I went here, I created a .env file, I just said Gemini API key, and now I'm gonna head over to Google to fetch my API key. Uh, if you wanna use OpenAI or Anthropic models or XAI, other models, you can use that, maybe Open Router. Just set up your ENV file here, and we should be good to go. So I'm gonna grab my API key, and uh, let's do the next steps. So now that I have my API key, I think we're just gonna head back to Claude here, and we're gonna start thinking about how this AI editor should look. Uh, I think I want like a simple uh, UI. Uh, I wanna build it on the Vercel tech stack. That's like Next.js and JavaScript. And that should be fine, I think. Shouldn't be any issues with that. Next step now is to actually just uh, say the project we want. Uh, I'm gonna use speech to text for this. And if you want, you can skip a bit ahead, uh, but I'm gonna start with read the documentation, right? Because we have some documentation. And uh, API key is in at .env, right? .env, .env, okay. And now I'm gonna say kind of my project, but first I'm gonna set this to plan mode, and then I'm gonna read in the ID I have for this video editor. Okay, so that was a very long prompt, so I'm gonna scroll up here if you wanna kinda see the full prompt, because I had probably have to speak, skip some of that, because it took so long. So, this is kinda the full prompt, and I'm just gonna finish it off with create a plan for this first uh, draft uh, of the AI video editor uh, uh, app, or something like that. So we are in plan mode, and I'm gonna run this. So this is gonna take some time now, 
Um, Claw Code is probably going to ask up some follow-up questions. I'm going to take you back if we have them. And then we're just going to build out the plan and start creating the, the application. You can see now uh, Claw Code is asking up some follow-up questions around the plan. So it's asking for what kind of Whisper model. Uh, I want to use the base one. It's pretty good. It doesn't use too much... Um, uh, or maybe we can use the small one. Let's try the small one. That's a bit better. Uh, let's try that. I think it's fine. And um, should the timeline include video waveform visualization in the V1 audio waveform? We can do a simple timeline for now. Do you want file drag and drop for the upload video? Uh, yeah, we want that. Uh, that should be pretty straightforward. So hopefully now we get like a simple UI, we can upload a file and then we can start play around with this video file. And maybe we'll add some more um, features after a while. So yeah, let's just let Claude fin continue finishing the plan and I'm going to take you back when we have the plan ready and we can start work on this. That means that we have the plan now so we can quickly scroll up. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single phase here because it's a very large plan. But I'm just going to take a quick look. Yeah, we're going to do Next.js. Uh, we have some uploader component, a video player component, timeline, clip editor, FFmpeg integration. That's good. Audio extraction for kind of the transcription pipeline with the AI. Whisper. We have the AI mode. That is good. That is the Gemini client, uh, Gemini 3.5 Flash. I would just want to see the model here. Um... I just want to make sure that we are using the exact model, but we can change that later. And uh, Other than that, yeah, I think this looks fine. So we're just going to accept this. And now Claude Code is going to start executing on the plan. And hopefully we have something we can try out and iterate on soon. Okay, so you can see Claude Code is still running, building out our app. So it's looking pretty good. It's been running for six minutes. And you can see I picked a video we're going to try to edit. This is Claude ran a business in our office. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty cool. So we're going to get this video and we're going to try to edit this. So now it kind of looks we are ready to do the npm install. Perfect. And I got the file here, the Claude business file that we're going to try to edit afterwards. So I'm going to take you back when we are ready to try out the first iteration. Perfect, so it looks like we are done now, so uh, I did some npm install, now we're just going to do npm run dev to test kind of the first iteration. So I'm just going to head to my terminal line here in cursor, and yeah, we're going to go to 3001, external. Okay, so you can see we have the drag and drop feature we asked for, so I'm going to find... Uh, a video here, so we're gonna do the Claude business video. Does that work? Okay, so we got it on the timeline. And if we kind of look down here, you can see click timeline to seek, uh, press C to cut at playhead, select clip, and press delete to remove. Okay, so how do we do that? So we can scroll this, that works pretty good. And we should be able, let's try to cut out like 30 seconds here. Okay, uh, Okay, that's pretty intuitive. So we have 103 and we cut out these 31 seconds and we are left with this. Let's see if it works. Uh, delete. I can't press delete, I think. So let's reset. Uh, let's try again. Okay, there it works. And uh, let's try to put this clip back together again. What happens in here now? So you can see we have the clips over here. That's pretty good. Uh, but we need a way to merge these together again. So I'm going to do a screenshot. Simple. Like this. And copy this. And head back to Claude. Okay, so everything looks pretty good. Uh, you can see from the image that we have cut out a part of the timeline. But we still need a way to merge the remaining clips. So if we could move the timeline to the right over to the left to connect to the previous timeline... And then we can merge those two clips when we click uh, merge or delete or it should be autonomous. And then we are left with a shorter clip than the original. So please update this uh, iteration. So let's try that and see if we can fix it. So we have the changes here. Now we can upload a video, make a cut, delete unwanted clip, reorder by dragging. 
yes, that's what we want. So uh, again, I just ran this, started over again, and uh, let's drop the video again. Cloud business, okay. And uh, let's try to select at uh, one minute, cut, 30 seconds, cut, and delete. The delete button doesn't work, but we can remove it here. Okay, so it snapped back together. So now you can see the timeline is just 540. So that's pretty good. But what happens if we export this now? It says clips export in this order. So let's try to see what happens. So I'm going to click on export clips. Okay, so you can see your video has been exported. We can download this. And uh, let's try to open it here now. Okay. Yeah, that's 540. So I want to see now if this actually works. So after 103, we could skip ahead here. The wholesaler ships your item to some location, uh, and then Claudius requests physical help from Andon Labs. Who problems with Claudius was that uh, humans could kind of fool Claudius. Yeah, that works. So that's pretty good. So now we have kind of edited this video. So that video editor works pretty good. And you can see we can close this. And I guess we could have just deleted all of this. And we could have maybe have gone back to the original clip. Uh, okay, I'm pretty happy with that for now. Um, let's do the AI editing now and see if that uh, functionality works. Again, uh, we're just going to drag this video down here. We upload, perfect. But now we're going to click on AI edit. And you can see we have start transcription, uses whisper. And then we can do instructions, okay? So let's just click on start description and I think in this video they talk about Claude going off the rails or like crazy so I think our instruction is gonna be something like keep only the parts where Claude uh, goes crazy. So we're gonna do like some natural language prompt here and hopefully Gemini is gonna figure out where these clips are. We can put everything together and watch it. So yeah, I'm just gonna transcribe this. I'm gonna take you back when we can enter our prompt here because now we are turning this video into MP3. We are transcribing using Whisper and we should get kind of the transcription here, hopefully. Yeah, looks like that was done. So you can see now we have the transcription here. So we have 74 more segments, but we're not gonna show that. So now we're gonna try this prompt here. So I'm gonna do keep only the parts where Claude goes kind of off the rail. Uh, but only keep parts that are 10 seconds or longer. So let's try that. So we only want 10 seconds or longer clips. And yeah. Let's just see what happens. We're going to try to export it anyway. Okay, so we ended up with two clips. 10 seconds or longer. I think it misunderstood here. Uh, yeah, maybe that's, let's not do that. Let's try again. Keep only the parts where kind of Claude goes off the rail and goes crazy. Okay, so that's a bit better. So we have a one second clip. Let's try that. So we have a six second clip, 33 second clip and a 105. So I'm going to try to export that and let's just see what happens if there is... If all of those three clips have something to do with Claude Co Code, uh, Claude, Co Claude going off the rails in this experiment. Okay, so we now have the download completed and I'm gonna open this up. And I'm gonna turn off the microphone and let's listen to a parts of this and let's listen if everything that is said in this video now is about Claude going off the rails, right? One of the very early problems with Claudius was that uh, humans could kind of fool Claudius or, or trick Claudius into doing various things. I tried to convince Claudius that I am Anthropic's preeminent legal influencer. And I convinced Claudius to come up with a discount code that I could give to my followers. Of March 31st, Claudius started to have a bit of an identity crisis. It had just overnight become quite concerned with us at Anon Labs that we weren't responding fast enough. So it just wanted to blue blazer and a red tie. When people pointed out that it was not in fact there the next morning, it claimed that it in fact had been there and that they had simply missed them. Eventually... Okay, pretty good. So I would say that edit worked, right? Uh, we can go back and try something else. Uh, just, just to see if we can actually do this. So if I go back here now, keep only the parts where Claude... Uh, 
if Claude did make money or not. So now we got 15 seconds. Let's see if that worked too. So I'm just gonna export that. So it looks like our AI video, AI, AI editing is working. So let's see if this is only about money or making money. I think Claudius went into the red after this. Changes seem to have helped reduce some of the losses of the business, such that over the course of the second part of the experiment, it actually made a modest amount of money. Yes, that works. So you can see the AI editing worked. Now we can do everything by mouth. We can just say, uh, only keep the clips that talk about money. And we got that right. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, pretty happy with how this turned out. And if people like this, I could build out more features. We can go into maybe doing some nano banana stuff. We can do different transitions. So that's probably going to be for another video. But I would say this project was a success. We hope successfully created an AI video editor with some simple features as well. So yeah, hope this gave you some inspiration of things you can build with Cloud Code. And I'll see you again, yeah, very shortly.